Good afternoon. Good morning, everybody. Today we are here to pitch to you our idea about night and incorporation into car bumpers. I'm Kelly. I'm Ryan. I'm Sean. I'm Tristan. And I'm Macy. And the other member of our group is late, and we don't know where she is. on the 405 freeway. There's dents in my car. I don't know what to do. Please help me. <laughs> don't, don't worry, Kaylee. We have a solution for you. Our Night and All Incorporated Car Bumper can fix those dents, no problem. Night and All Incorporated Car Bumper? What's that? Well, our car, car bumpers use Night and All, which is a shape memory alloy, which will help buffer out dents in the car. Um, why can't I just go to my auto body shop and get it fixed there? Why do I have to buy it from you guys? Well, the 9 all car bumper is meant to be fixed anywhere you have heat and anytime you need to apply it. Um, our product has many benefits other than convenience. One of these benefits would be that it allows for a better car ownership experience and that when the dent gets reformed, it's still aesthetically pleasing to the customer. And it's environmentally friendly. Um, there are no byproducts or waste during use, and the product itself is reusable. This will help prevent waste from car parts from getting into places as landfills and junkyards. Hmm, I'm interested. Aren't you guys? <laughs> <laughs> so show of hands, how many people in here have a dent anywhere on their car? So as you can see from the many hands, there's an importance for having car night and all being incorporated into a car bumper because the because the bumper is a common spot for dents. Night and all is a shape memory alloy, which means that it has the ability to self-assemble self on the nanoscale and go back to its original shape when heated up to a certain point. Our night and all car bumpers aim to reduce the reformation time after a minor accident, and the estimated cost for each piece would be $1,300 per unit. Um, however, this cost will be included into the overall cost of a car shell and will appeal more to car manufacturers than the individual car owner itself. So the exterior of the bumper wouldn't be adjusted in any way. It would be the exact same. The only thing that would be done is it would be a night and all lattice underlay on the back of the bumper. Night and all is $3 per foot and we measured the bumper, her bumper of her car, which is a BMW 550i and it is 440 inches and at that point, so the base product would be $1,300 to make, and we'd probably sell it right around $4,500. And there's a plus or minus $250 on the 1300 because of different things, such as backup cameras and different stylings of uh, different models. And even though the 9 all will cost about $1,300 to produce, we plan on get, proposing this to car manufacturers at a price of $4,500. So why should people buy this from you guys? Uh, the competition right now is there's nobody that's looking into that we've seen into putting night null or any other shape memory alloy or polymer into the car bumper. So it's one of a kind and it would be using the exact same material that everything else has for like fiberglass, but it would be the, having the ability to repair dents. And also standard car bumpers are becoming more and more expensive despite how the product itself is not becoming any better. Um, we plan on using more and more technology to make these car bumpers more affordable and, yeah, more useful. But what's the catch? Well, potential hurdles we do have would be damage to the exterior of the car, which deals with the car paint itself. However, we plan on using this with another nanotechnology, which is shape self-healing self materials, which um, also, when heated, repairs back to its original shape. So what we're looking for is $250 or $250,000 <laughs> and <laughs> a little bit of a difference. And it would be used to, uh, for a workplace, workers, materials, manufacturing, and everything like that. And alongside these initial costs, we have created some business goals for our product. In the first five to six months after, um, after development, we plan on having the first night and all car bumper prototype, which will actually have the night and all incorporated into the material. After eight months, we'd like to uh, present the prototype to diff every car company and see if anybody would be interested. And after a year, we'd hope to actually have a night and all car bumper implemented into at least one car model. And lastly, you're probably wondering why we're presenting this to you. Well, we are a generation that utilizes materials in order to save resources and help the environment. And we would like to create something that uses the state-of-the-art technology and that also satisfies customer happiness. And we hope that this will change everyday life. Thank you.
So I'm interested in why nitinol is so expensive. When, when you get it, when you talk about $3 per foot, is that a linear foot, a square foot? That is per square foot. Per square foot. Yes. And, and is that just a square foot lattice? We're going for a little bit smaller of a, um, than a square foot. Um, nitinol creates a lateral and vertical support under the bumper, so that's why we would prefer to incorporate it straight in. Um, but that size of maybe six inches is ideal. Um, but yeah, that's what we're aiming for. And have you thought of any way to lower the price of it, or is it intrinsic because titanium or nickel or something's expensive about it? Um, nitinol is right now the cheapest self assembly. Uh, Shape memory alloy. Like there are other shape memory alloys, such as uh, ones that contain gold or titanium or platinum or platinum or gold, which are more expensive. So as of right now, this is the cheapest shape memory alloy. Thank you. I'm gonna ask my question, but maybe our scientists can help with this. Mm. What happens when the car with a nitinol? lined bumper goes to the junkyard. What happens with it in the environment? I'm, I'm just asking, by the way, I learned a lot from your presentation, so I'm looking to learn a little more. Um, so I'm just wondering what the environmental impact of that is. So the environmental impact is kind of similar to just any waste. There's not really any byproducts of just nitinol sitting there. Um, another thing we were looking into is shape memory polymers, which we can make the entire bumper out of and not have to waste anything at all because it'll reform itself and it'll also serve as the bumper itself. Why has this happened before? Why hasn't this happened before? Uh, there's a lot of knowledge about nitinol, and we have other teams have mentioned it as well, but this is pretty obvious application. Do you have any theory about that? Yeah. Well, nanotechnology is a new science, and not many people know about it yet, except, well, all of you guys do, but not, <laughs> the common, not like common everyday people who don't study nanotechnology don't really know. So hopefully nanotechnologists can use this in the future. Do you have any IP protection uh, that you're contemplating about around this? On the Patents, trademarks, that sort of thing. Um, we plan on, uh, if we would continue in this, we would plan on uh, patenting the lattice, la lattice uh, layering on the back of the car, and um, we would be able to present it to the companies, and nobody would be able to steal it. Pencil liners always. Can you tell us how you came up with this idea? <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, what? Oh. So we're all high school students at Valencia High School, and going around the parking lot, there's dents everywhere. <laughs> so um, we have these poles that hold up the solar panels, and those are really common to get hit. <laughs> so popping out our dents would be really uh, a really useful tool for us, instead of paying the price over and over every time you need to get it fixed. And I got in a car accident on Monday. That's my car. <laughs> Bumper is all dented, so if I had a nitinol incorporated car bumper, my car could be perfect right now. <laughs> <laughs> any other any other questions, judges? Nope. All right. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you guys. Thank you.